Hi everyone. Welcome to Professor Srinidhi's classes. Like, comment and share the video and also subscribe to the channel. This video is about intrapreneurship. Intrapreneur. Entrepreneur versus intrapreneur. Welcome to the episode Road to Success. Nokia Corporation, one of the world's biggest multinational telecommunications, information technology and consumer electronics company. Well, I think you all know Nokia mobile phones, right? 150 year old juggernaut Nokia in 2013 there were some major setbacks in the company some blame it on the new launched iPhone also they even sold their mobile handset business to Microsoft so the company decided to have some major restructuring managerial rejig the company created a new division Nokia Technologies Nokia Technologies was uh, a Silicon Valley based startup of the company and then the entry of a stalwart in the market Ramsey Hydamus the person Ramsey Hydamus at that time famous for steering Dolby Laboratories into its peak He is the alumnus of University of California, University of Pacific, Stanford University, Harvard Business School. So basically he is studies in all the world top ranked institutes. That's crazy talent. His work profile is even more amazing. He was designer engineer in Stanford Research Systems Incorporated. Then he was an executive in Dolby Laboratories, and being there, he found a new Dolby subsidiary company, Via Licensing Corporation. It is a world-leading provider of intellectual property business solution, and then became the president and the CEO of the company. then he became the executive vice president of dolby laboratories then to nokia technologies and now at present he is the president and ceo of immersion corporation in 2014 he entered nokia nokia technologies as its president which was very new As soon as he became the president of Nokia Technologies he moved to Silicon Valley had more than 700 world class scientists and engineers his core mission was to figure out what to do with these assets and how they might be used to propel Nokia back into the customer space there was no defined product strategy no defined direction either On day 1 he said we had all the key ingredients to relaunch Nokia into the consumer space the question became what it would be this was the state of Nokia now once again it is one of the largest and leading in mobile phone sales in the world this is intrapreneurship the mission of an intrapreneur brought back 150 year old ship to its shore a new term intrapreneurship buzzword this term was not in existence before 1978 a paper was published titled intra corporate entrepreneurship in 1978 the authors were griffor pinchot the third and elizabeth pinchot his wife griffard pinchot coined the term intrapreneurship and in 1985 he defined it dreamers who do 
those who take responsibility for creating an innovation of any kind within an organization the act of behaving like an entrepreneur within a corporation the act of being a corporate risk taker with a vision even though entrepreneur and intrapreneur are similar in many ways there are some simple distinctions between them entrepreneur versus intrapreneur entrepreneur is an independent businessman while an intrapreneur a semi independent businessman for an entrepreneur the risk is higher whatever he develops and operates he is the sole responsible person for it he has to go leaps and bounds for all the aspects of his enterprise but in the case of intrapreneurs there's not much risk involved the company he works for will also bear the brunt an entrepreneur creates the organization others work for him as in case of intrapreneur he is the part of the organization works within the organization entrepreneur has more responsibility he himself has to raise the capital must collect the funds from various sources and also must assure the investors about their money while intrapreneur doesn't need to raise the capital from outside the organization but has the responsibility of whatever funds are released to him by the company there are some limitations to intrapreneurs as well as compared to entrepreneurship like the company bureaucracy hierarchy rules fear of failure and being chucked out of the company these are some of the limitations of intrapreneur there are a lot of organizations institute where young talents are guided and there are community of intrapreneurs like pinchot and company circle of young intrapreneurs intrapreneurship conference league of intrapreneurs and many more there are a lot of success stories and examples on very successful intrapreneurs and the companies incorporated intrapreneurship approach companies like nokia technologies of nokia corporation skunk works a group of lockheed martin employees the company 3m intel xerox microsoft virgin were some of the companies which promoted corporate entrepreneurship that is intrapreneurship hence the concept of intrapreneurship well thank you for watching the video stay tuned to the channel for more videos thank you